My name is Bram Akkermans and I'm the Marble Coordinator for the Faculty of Law. I have coordinated this program for the last five years and I've also run one of the programs within the Marble program at the Faculty of Law. I'm an assistant professor in European private law and hence my program or my project has also concerned um, the area of private law where I've worked closely every year with a group of 15 to well, 12 to 15 students um, on individual research projects and sometimes on joint research projects where two or sometimes even three students work together um, on a topic in the area of European contract law, which means sales law, so buying things over the internet um, and actually making rules and designing rules for the European Union, for the internal market in the European Union, um, to ensure and to improve cross-border trading and buying stuff over the internet in other countries. And for that, we don't only do research here in Maastricht, but we also visit Brussels and we meet with actors that are actually involved in currently developing these rules at a European level. For example, um, people from the European Commission, lobbyists and um, other what we call stakeholders. And we visit Brussels with these students and these students interact with these stakeholders, providing them with ideas on what to do in real life. But of course, in turn, these stakeholders comment and reflect on the students' research. And that is really the essence of Marble, that with bachelor students you work on research-based learning. So although their curriculum generally does not provide to do research, it's important that you work with them on a research-based project and show that they can actually do this either alone or um, in groups of two and three. And with that, they, supervised by me, with the input they get from the stakeholders, they really achieve something that we had not expected before. Um, it has really shown, or at least we have really seen, that by challenging them, challenging them and by um, adding more stakeholders, more different influences, more different input to them, they have really gone beyond to anything that we've ever imagined when we started. So these projects generally run for, from, let's say, uh, three to six months. And in those three to six months, we meet these students as a group, um, let's say three to four times um, a month. And the idea is really that we co-supervise them, so that we actually group supervise them. So that's also something where we have really been innovative vis-a-vis -vis what we've done in the past. So we supervise these students by me as a staff member, talking to them, but they also help each other because they are all working on a topic that's related to each other. So they each have their individual parts, but at the same time, they also can help each other with literature, with comments, with research questions, methodology, and of course also with the presentation style. And then at the end of the project, we go to Brussels again, and then the students present their research and their research results to the Brussels stakeholders that have been involved in the project, hopefully and usually edit with some professionals from the European Commission, the European Parliament, etc. And that really leads to something quite spectacular. And the students then finalize their papers and those we then publish in the Marble Research-Based Learning Research Paper Series. And the students therefore also have a publication at the end of their project.